So hello guys, and welcome to another episode of the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door Let's Play. So right now, I am on Chapter 3, and we just got up to Major League in the Glitz Pit. And I also got the Yoshi here, which I've named Snoutlet, based on Mario and Luigi Brothership. We're gonna do another match here. So we'll do the ranked match. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fixing for a fight, huh? Okay, then, your next opponent will be ranked 9 in the Glitz Pit, the Tiny Spinies. Now, listen, son, in this battle, I want you to let yourself get damaged at least five times, okay? It's just so dang barred when I watch a match that's too one sided. You hear what I'm saying to you? Now, get in there and kick some behind. Okay. So we have to get damaged five times in this one. That means no super guards either. Because super, super guards don't count as you getting damaged, which makes sense. I've learned that lesson a few times before in the Glitz Pit. Thorny demons, yep, a fight to the finish with the tiny spinies. Let me at him. Yeah, bring it. You ready for a beating? It's gonna be fun poking at you. Get yourselves ready to battle. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna, um, defend. And paddle them. There we go. That's a red spike top. It's the most well protected of the Buzzy Beetle species. Max HP is 5, attack is 3, and its defense is a whopping 4. Yep, that guy is hard. It is really high defense and higher in fire and explosions won't hurt it at all. If we can just find a way to flip it over, its, its underside has a defense of 0. That spike, what a pain! There's gotta be a way to flip it over. Okay. Yeah, I just... Can... Oh. Okay, well I can't guard either, so... Hook damage once, so... We'll defend. I wanna see if I have any FP replenishing items here. Um, actually, I should be good for now. I got lucky there. Yeah, now I'll just use an FP drain that I have. So I'm good for a little longer here. There we go. That's pretty funny. Stage hazard made them dizzy there. Okay, let's see. Okay, I think I'm... They missed anyway, I was gonna try to super guard them. I think I'll just use Earth, 
Earth Tremor, then. That should probably be my safest bet here. A lot of people say that the Crystal Star kind of looks like foil, but I think it looks more like just regular solid metal. I just realized before I had um, 69 star points, so I guess that was pretty nice. We got ourselves a winner, the Grey Gonzales. We did it, Mario. Wow. Okay, so we got 15 coins from that. I'm gonna rest for the next one, since I had to take damage multiple times. I find it interesting that they made this like the um the sleep song a little faster oh boy howdy gonzalez fixing for a fight huh okay then your next opponent will be ranked eighth in the glitz pit the poker faces now listen son in this battle i want you to appeal to the crowd at least three times these fans eat that stuff up a little grandstand for a hero and they go wild now get in there and get him riled up, son. Let's see. I'm just gonna pull Gumella out just in case. I need the tattle here. Actually, I think it would make sense for me to appeal here anyway. Fighting the Bristols. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Ultimate Weapons. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Poker Faces. Come on, Mario, let's get this over with. Oh, you're gonna be cool, slot kid, and that ain't good. Get yourselves ready to battle. Yeah, I think I forgot the title, the Bristols. Oh no, I did. I was thinking of my other playthrough. Okay. Well, I'll have Goombella in the front then. I need to appeal anyway, so that kind of works. There we go. I can just super guard them. You know what? For fun, I'll just <laughs> I'll just try to kill them with super guards. Oh, okay, that didn't work for that one. Okay, I'll try one more time. There we go. There we go. Imagine if there was a clear condition that only kill an enemy with super guards. That would be- that's actually real. that would actually be like a really cool idea for like a, a harder version of the Glitz Pit. Like a post-game one. See? No biggie. I think that would be pretty cool if they had like harder clear conditions. I know that's, like, technically, like, something that was used in a post-game boss fight. Okay, I'm not gonna spoil it here if you're just watching this, um, blindly, but... 
Whoa, Mario, that's another email, right? Don't just stand there. Check it. Go to the watering hole outside the glitz pit from X. It's from that X guy again. Great. The watering hole, huh? If you say so, X. Who is this mystery guy? I think, did I get the, um, item that was in here? Okay, no, I didn't. Power punch. Oh yeah, that was the one I was looking for, the ice storm, because I knew that was in there. I'm not sure if the power punch one was in the original game. I know the ice storm was. Actually, I think the ice storm was in a different locker in the original game, if I remember correctly. Okay. So now we're gonna get the super hammer. Oh, you're here, Mr. Gonzalez. Yeah, it's the mustache I've been waiting for. Actually, you're pretty late. Someone left a package and a note by the door a bit ago. It said, look for the thick-stashed man named Gonzalez and give him this. And this is this. Okay, so we got the super hammer. Hey, it's me again, Toadette! It's so nice to see you again, Mario! Congratulations on getting the super hammer! Now you can use a wicked cool new technique! Let's get to practicing it! It's a little hard, but I'm sure you'll get it! Hold down B and rotate L until your body twists up! Then release B and perform the super hammer technique! The key is to rotate a lot before pressing B. Okay. I think they brought back that animation of Mario twisting in Modern Paper Mario. Oh, excellent, Mario! You're so awesome! Are you clear on the controls? All good. Okay, great! You've mastered the Super Hammer! With the super hammer move, you can break even big blocks like this! Oh gee, I almost forgot! You can use the super hammer in battle! Plus, your hammer attack power is boosted now! Well, see you later Mario! Good luck with your quest! So far I could tell, the hammer is a new model. The Hammer Whack 2005. Real nice hammer all around. Solid craftsmanship. Good grip. High bonk ability. Commercials for this thing say the hammer chooses its user. They aren't cheap either, so whoever gave this to you must be a big fan. But why leave this in the juice shop? Isn't that odd? I mean, it's not that hard to hand a gift to a pro fighter. Gonzalez, email time! Smash the blockade in the locker room from X. Blockade in the locker room? Huh. Wonder what's behind it. I think... Okay, I didn't get the star piece there. Ooh, we have some more, um... Dupree dialogue here. Ah, oh, that lovely young woman, that unbiscuit particular meant... Dur oh, one tough cookie, as you say. Oh, I cannot even sleep. The pink spots on her oversized head invade my very dreams. I wanted to read the Dupree description here. Ah, it's that gross guy, Dupree. What is he doing in Glitzville? How annoying. You don't think he's on an adventure with us, do you? I think Goombella is getting... I mean, she's creeped out by him, but... <laughs> he's weirdly starting to get used to it for some reason. But, um, oh, I didn't get the star piece here yet. Okay, we'll pull out Yoshi here.
Okay. Oh, Gonzalez, isn't it? I got a word that somehow you fell back down to the minor league again. Can't say that I understand why. Anyway, go on in. We're in the minor league again? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Oh. The Iron Adonis twins are in here. Hey, Mr. Stinkwad, what are you doing in here? I thought that would be, like, jealous of him or something. Okay. Let's go up here and get the suspicious paper. Or the dubious documents. Broken, Dallas! That's some kind of scientific paper on the crystal stars! Who'd be investigating those things besides us? They even took pictures! That boat was fake, but the real story's here somewhere. Who'd leave something like this laying around? It just all reeks of funny business. Okay, and then we're gonna get stopped by Jolene here. You again, Mr. Gonzalez? What are you doing in here? This is a minor league rocker room. Major league athletes are forbidden. Even if they weren't, it's hardly appropriate to bash down our walls, hmm? I'll just be confiscating this. Thank you very much. Hey, what's with her? We busted our humps getting that information. Some people just gotta rain on parades. Well, at least we know where the crystal star is here. Okay. Let's go back and save. Let's go back to the Major League Walker Room here. Okay. Do another ranked match. Oh boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fixing for a fight, huh? Okay, then your next opponent will be rank 7 in the Glitz Pit, the Shell Shockers. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to win before you take 20 HP of pain. Our fans don't want to see a battered hero by the skin of their teeth, son. Now get in there and show me some grit, pardon. Okay, let's see Goombella out again. Okay. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Turtles of Hurdle. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Shell Shockers. We're gonna lose to the likes of you. So-called Great Gonzalez, don't think I'm gonna take it easy on you, baby. Get yourselves ready to battle. Okay, so we have some shady Koopas here. I think these these do like um actually let me paddle them first because I know they do a lot of damage when they're flipped over. That's a shady Koopa. It's yet another member of the Koopa family tree. XHP is eight, attack is three, defense is one. The difference between them and other Koopas, they can attack from their backs. That's not all. While on their back, their attack gets boosted. And they can use a terrifying technique. Wow, that's pretty tricky. No wonder they're called Shady Koopas, huh? Okay. Let's see. Let's do Power Bounce. Let's use a ice storm on them. 
There we go. I think I'll just use Sweet Treat for now. Yeah, that wasn't a that wasn't a very good Sweet Treat, but eh. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I might get the tattle for the Shady Koopa later, or the Shady Paratroopa later. Because I just wanted to focus on taking it out. We got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. What did you expect, huh? We rock. Gonzalez. Well, Nelly. I don't believe my eyes, folks! The Iron Adonis twins are in a rage! You made us look like suckers the other day, and now you're gonna pay for it! Aw, uh, a little tired from your match, Great Stinkwad? Too bad! Prepare for pain! Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna fight them again here. At least we don't have to worry about, um... paddling them, since we already did that. Okay. I think I'll just use Sweet Treat again. Hopefully I'll get 4 FP. Okay, there we go. Not enough. There we go. Okay, we leveled up. Let's see, I think I'll go for BP again this time. Work! We lost after all of that. We reek. Holy! That's a great Gonzalez, friends and neighbors. Kids, kid don't even blink when the Iron Adonis twins barge in and attack. Woo! Tough. He's too dang tough. Yeah, this kid is only bound for the bigger things, folks. Till next time, everyone. See ya. Okay. We got 17 coins that time. I 
Okay. Zealous, another email. What now? Keep sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong, and you are D E A D M E A T. Man, that dude sounds peeved. Thinking that isn't some isn't our ex bunny. Who do you think that would send something like that? Okay, I think we'll rest up. Okay. Oh boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fixing for a fight, huh? Okay then, your next opponent will be, rank 6 in the Glitz Pit, the Fuzz. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid dealing any... to avoid dealing any damage for the first three turns, okay? Fans love it when their heroes make him sweat a bit. Am I right? Or am I right? Now get in there and bring home the bacon. Okay. The funny, there's a funny thing about, about, um, these fighters we're about to take on. Because it, it, it's kind of funny. Somehow, these fuzzies were able to beat the Iron Adonis twins. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Bottomless Vacuums. Yep, a fight to the finish with the fuzz. Let me at him, yeah, bring it. You ready for a beating? York, York, we'll we'll suck up your souls, York. Get yourselves ready to battle. Okay. Yeah, the funny thing about the fuzzy, they were somehow able to beat the Iron Adonis twins, like even though they're like practically impossible to beat without. Yoshi's Golf, like, somehow the fuzzies can technically, like, suck HP out of them like they can with, um, any other, like, enemy, or, I guess, character, really. That's a, that's a green fuzzy. As you can see, it's a fuzzy, and it's green. Duh. X HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is 0. It's just similar to a normal fuzzy, so it replenishes its own HP as it sucks out ours. Ew, that's just the grossest thing ever. Don't you find that idea gross? Seriously, there's something wrong with you. The main difference between this and other fuzzies is that this one multiplies. You know, I bet that thing would look great sitting next to the gold fuzzy. Okay, we'll just defend here. Okay. Yeah, of course, this could multiply when we can't attack here. Okay, let's tattle the flower fuzzy. It's a flower fuzzy. Wow, what a pretty fuzzy, don't you think? Max HP is 6, attack is 3, and defense is 0. This thing attacks by... Boinging in and sucking our FP. How uncool. We need FP. Once it charges up its own FP, it uses magical attacks. Better beat it before it does. Oh, I just got it. It's a flower fuzzy because it sucks your FP. Flower points. Duh. Hehe. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, now we have to deal with five. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's kind of funny how we get this clear condition on um the fuzzies. Like the well, the one with green fuzzies that can multiply. Okay. Go. Yeah, some of these clear conditions can be um, kind of funny sometimes with the enemy that you're matched up with. We got ourselves a winner! A great Gonzales. We we won? Cool. Okay. Hey, you, Gonzales. Jolene brought us back a key piece of cake. From a fan, I guess. Okay, this, so the thing about the cakes are pretty funny. There's one, this is the one that's fine to eat, but there's another one that's poisonous. But we'll go ahead and eat this one. Eh, that, that looks pretty good. You could probably get a quick energy boost from it. Yeah, let's eat the cake here. Alright, cake time. Okay, so we fully recovered from that one. So now we don't need the sleep. Do another rank match here. The next cake we might not want to eat. Oh boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fixing for a fight, huh? Okay, then. Your next opponent will be... Rank 5 of the Glitz Pit, the Badge Koopa Masters. Now listen, son. In this battle, I want you to use at least one special move, okay? The crowd needs something flashy. You catch my drift? Give them a good show. Now get in there and blow off the roof, son. Let's switch the Goombella so we can tattle some of them here. Okay. For our next opponent, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Underworld Servants. Yep, a fight to the, the finish with the Magikoopa Masters. We aren't going to lose to the likes of you. You fool! What do you do as well to fear our dark magic? Get yourselves ready to battle. The funny thing about um the color Magikoopas is that they actually appear in... A few more games. I think they're in a few sports games, including the infamous Mario Sports Superstars, as well as like Puzzles and Dragons Super Mario Bros. Edition as well. So let's see. Oh yeah, Should probably tattle first. That's a red Magic Koopa. It's a Koopa Wizard and dressed in red. XHP is 7, attack is 4, defense is 0. Besides using offensive magic, it can also use magic to boost attack and defense. When it's alone, this wizard will use magic to multiply. The fact that you can't tell which one is the real one after it multiplies is super annoying. I have to say though, that shade of red is definitely not its color. Let's see. Let's use that special move now. Okay, let's do a clock out. There we go. Let's 
battle the white magic koopa that's a white magic koopa it's a koopa wizard dressed in white at six speed seven attack is four and defense is zero it attacks with magic and can replenish allies hp better hit it first huh oh that also says it will use magic to make copies of itself when it's all alone which is totally annoying, because you can't tell which one is the real one from the copy. Okay, well, let's... Let's see. We'll do Tattle on the green Magic Koopa. That's a green magic koopa. It's a koopa wizard dressed in green. Max HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 0. It has a magic attack and can also use magic to make itself or allies electrified or invisible. It also says that it'll use magic to make copies of itself when it's all alone. Which is totally annoying because then you can't tell with the real deal from the copy. Okay, and then now we'll do multi balance. Yeah, that takes out the white one. I messed up the multi bonk there, but let's see. Okay, I guess I'll just do spin jump on this one. Okay. There we go. Got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. What did you expect, huh? He rock. Mario. Now we gotta fight Bowser. Whoa! Another fight has come storming in, screaming this full full head off about something. Gonzalez has a lot of foes, folks. Some who don't even know who, his name. Will he live? Word on the street is that you're some mustache, some mustachioed doofus was in Glitzville, and looky here! Talk about perfect timing, and now all these folks are gonna watch me myrtleize you. And then now we have, um, Bowser's new battle theme here. Which is kind of an arrangement on the, his, like, theme in the game. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy you! And I have witnesses! Let's see. We'll do... Battle first. I think it's pretty funny that, like, Bowser just randomly appears with the glitz pit like this. That's Bowser! What is he doing here? My mind just blew a fuse! Max HP is 30, attack is 3, defense is 1. He's uglier than I expected! He's got a poisonous bite. So watch out, don't make your HP decrease gradually. Also, if he ground pounds you, you won't be able to use one of your commands. Just focus on your on your attention, or beating him down, Mario. Let's see. We'll just put a repel cape on Mario here. I think I'll pull out Snoutlet here. Oh, yeah. His attack is too low. Let's see.
There we go. I like how I'm technically taller than Bowser right now. That's pretty funny. Oh, yeah. You, okay, you just can't use them then after you swap out for Koops. shouldn't have sought the coops. <laughs> okay. I was I, I was gonna try to replenish FP here, but hopefully this works out. Ah, uh, it was off by one. Oof! Well, I'd expect nothing less from you, Mario. Figures you'd get some licks in. You sweet treat now. Okay. Go. There we go. Arg! Okay. Yeah, I, I always think that fight is pretty funny. And I think it's weird how, like, Bowser goes back down and goes back to Blitzville. Like, it, it's just kind of a, a weird, like, progression thing with Bowser there. Ooh, that's our Gonzalez. He don't even bat an eye once a full ambushes him. Tough. Yet, too, you're too tough, son. And yet, and you're only gonna get tougher. Stay tuned, folks. Till next time, everyone. See ya! Okay. Wow, that was Bowser, right? Jeepers, who had thought he'd show up here? Okay, let's rest here since we have to do another two battles in a row. Let's move on to the next battle. Oh boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fixing for a fight, huh? Okay, then. Your next opponent will be, rank 4 in the Glitz Pit, Crawdaddy. Now listen son, in this battle, I want you to wrap it up in 5 turns or less. I've got a date with my best gal in just a few, and I don't want to be late. Now get in there and bring this puppy home quick. Okay.
For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, Great Gonzalez, and the Dark Gatekeeper. Yep, a fight to the finish with Crawdaddy. You're gonna lose to the likes of you. Foolish mortals, I drag you through the gates of the netherworld. Get your zills ready to battle. I think it's funny that, like, Dark Craws are an enemy in this game. Like, they're just kind of treated as a normal enemy, while the regular Craw, like, Gus, is like a boss. But they're like, eh, these are just, like, normal ones. It's a Dark Craw. Yikes! What a ghastly-looking spear thrower. Max HP is 20, attack is 6, defense is 0. Wow, that's some serious attack power. You don't want to jump on it, because his spear is pointing up, because that would hurt. For a run-of-mill spear tosser, he sure looks like he got a point to make. Okay, power smash. Okay. I can't believe I didn't super guard that. There we go. I think it's good that we get matched up with one that's, like, only one enemy. But it's, like, five turns or fewer here. There we go. Got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. We did it, Mario! Wow! Okay. We only have a few more fights to go here. Um, Mario, your pocket's beeping. Mail time. Go to the telephone booth on the pavilion from X. Oh, it's from X again, huh? Telephone booth? Pavilion? Does he mean outside? You remember seeing a phone booth? Well, we better go look around. Okay, so let's go over to the phone booth here. Whenever I see X, like the name X on here, I always think of, oh, here's Rockhawk. Gonzalez! Good timing, you punchy little punk! Uncle Rockhawk's got some advice for ya! If you keep stealing the spotlight from me, you're gonna enter a world of hurt. Quit making such a splash if you value your puny little life. Yeah, you better keep walking, you punk chicken! You hear me talking? Hey, wait, I wonder if you think that idiot sent us that hate mail. I guess it doesn't matter. Somebody hates us. You better watch your steps. But whenever I think of that X name on here, when I see that, I'm like, like the new name for Twitter. Like the stupid thing that Elon Musk changed it to. Or, um... Sir Grotus. Because he's basically Sir Grotus. Okay. We've got the storage key. Go to the storage room next to Grubba's office from X. What the heck is this guy's problem? The storage room? I mean, does he think we need to... We need an exercise? 
This dude is really cheesing me off. Okay, so let's go over to the storage room. I don't think it mattered which direction we went in from because like the storage room is like the the farthest back room here it's like oh so you're telling me that you have no idea what who got inside what do we pay you for <laughs> i'm awful mr aline i heard a noise in there but i couldn't find nothing hmm fine then leave the rest of this matter to me. Go back to your post. And listen to me carefully. Do not ever tell anyone of this, or I'll have your job. You, Mr. Gonzalez, this is highly inappropriate. What business do you have here? Please, I must ask you to stay out of places where you have no business being. Yeah, I was like, the one thing I noticed here, I didn't pick up the hot dog yet. That's actually a new... Well, the hot dog was an item in the original game, but that item placement is new. That The hot dog wasn't there in the original. Oh, there's Miss Mouse. Oh, mm-hmm, <laughs> we meet again, you husky mustached hunk, you. Are you a friend of Kintalish? I didn't know he hung out with crooks, and you look like one. Security was talking about noises in here. Did you make noises while you stole stuff? Oh, please. No one ever heard me. I'm the best mouse burglar of all time. I'm silent. It's quite obvious that someone else must have been make monkeying around in here. Well, whatever. You are a thief, right? Shh. All they need to know is that I've taken what I've needed. And I'll be on my way. As for the rest, help yourself to whatever you like. <laughs> and now, we must part again, my sweet mustached man. Is that what's called a kiss? I heard about those things. I'm jealous. Only you get it. I almost forgot, my sweet. This arena holds many secrets, you know. You should be very careful, lest you end up like those poor souls upstairs. And with that, goodbye, my delectable hunk of cheese. We shall meet again. Oh, she took up, huh? What was that kiss like? I gotta get me one of those. Hey, but what do you think she meant about somebody being upstairs, huh? Find the switch to reach the attic from X. The switch? So there's supposed to be a switch in here? Oh, use flurry. <laughs> yeah, that reveals blocks like this so that you can hit with the. Oh, charge P. That will be important for some of the boss battles. Oh, I'm disappointed. That's not a switch. That's, well, a switch. I was expecting something to play Thousand Year Door on it. Let's see. Well, next time, I better expect the Wii U. I need something a little better next time, because there wasn't a Nintendo Switch in here. spring and then go across here oh let's pick up that yeah HP plus P
So you didn't think you'd f hide, hide a hair and nobody in the storage room? That's what you're saying? Yes, Mr. Grubba. It appears to be secure. Don't you worry about it, sir. I've taken the necessary precautions. It was most likely a rat or something. Well, no big deal either way. Ain't nothing in there we'd miss to too much anyway. Thanks for staying on top of this, Jolene. Hey, and by the way, word on King K? I'm afraid we still don't know the whereabouts of King K, Mr. Grubba. And so, I deleted his spot on our roster per regulations. Blitzpit no longer has any official connection to KPP, aka King K. I'm gonna check the, um, that one thing that, like the exhibition one. I'm gonna see if the, um, King K, like, doesn't, and, or, um, the bandits show up there during this, because I'm curious about that. I have, of course, taken the same steps with all the fighters who have gone missing. Oh, fighters have been gone missing a lot lately? That's the fifth time this year! What in tarnation is going on? I heard some security agent saying that the pit's cursed. I doubt that, sir, but I certainly don't understand the disappearances. Well, for the same time for the time being, tell the other fellas that King K headed home for a spell. Word gets out about the missing fighters. I sure ain't gonna be good for business. No siree. Nasty rumors have a way of sending folks to to the hills. You know what I mean? I understand completely, Mr. Grubba. I'll take care of everything, sir. You know, Jolene, you're a dang fine manager. But just plum disappear sometimes. I gotta know, where in the world do you go, darling? Uh, that's... Mr. Grubba, I know you're my boss, but I don't believe that's any of your business. Easy. Hit me in the pry now. How about this, then? Heard of the Crystal Star? N no I've never heard of such a thing, Mr. Grubba. Okie dokie. Well, I appreciate your time, Mr. Jolene. Miss Jolene. You gotta go ahead and run along now, you hear? So used to saying Mr. Gonzalez in that voice. I kinda... Well, if it ain't a fine house, do you? Seems like a good fighters are dying breed. That's a wild child, Gonzalez is just about the only dry I still got around here. Oh, Gonzalez? Oh, did you hear that? Where is going missing, dude? That ain't cool! Was that totally talking about King K in minor league? I thought he retired. <laughs> hey, somebody up there? Squeak? Squeak? Oh, Nelly. Just a little old mouse. Who I'm thinking someone's up there a-peeping. Gotta relax. Take some yoga classes or something. Yep. Well, back to the ring. <laughs> I think his back spread is pretty funny. Like, like I've said before, it, it, it just looks a lot like a... It makes him look even more like a spike, which is funny. Whoa, whoa, man, we dodged a bullet there. Hey, did you hear that guy blabbling about the crystal star? That Jolene lady acted pretty guilty when he let that one slip out. Well, whatever. For now, we better bail before someone finds us up here. Hey, let's slip down here. Let's save. Okay. I'm just gonna rest up just in case. Boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fix it for a fight, huh? Okay, then. Your next opponent will be at rank 3 in the Glitz Pit, Hamma, Bama, and Flair. At least, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using your hammer. Not even once, son. I want you to see what you do 
when you ain't got something to beat a fella with. Now get in there and let's see some acrobatic fine. I'm glad this time I don't have the um the take HP 20 HP or less because th this one is a little more um difficult in terms of like taking HP, especially the fire bro. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Big Bad Brute Bros. Yep, the fight to the finish with the Pama Bama and Flair. Come on, Mario, let's get this over with. My Grand Peppy's hammer is gonna strike you down, man. Here it comes. Get yourselves ready to battle. Apparently, the Hammer Bros voice clips are taken from, um,. I think it's either Mario Strikers or Mario Party 8. I forgot. It's one of those, like, early Wii games, I think. I know some of the sound effects were taken from New Super Mario Bros. But we'll see. We'll do Clock Out. Okay, there we go. That's a hammer, bro. You know him. He throws hammers, hence the name. Max HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 1. When his HP drops and he thinks he's in trouble, he'll toss a hammer barrage. Nothing about these ga guys has changed. Puff as ever, so brace yourself. Ping, this book always skips the important stuff. How do you- how do they carry endless hammers? Okay. Let's see, let's do spin jump. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't do that one correctly, but, um, let's see. That's a fire, bro! It's a relative of the Hammer Bros. Spits out fire. Max HP is 7, attack is 3, defense is 1. If you get hit by a fireball, you might catch on fire, so guard well, okay? When his HP gets low, it gets desperate and totally starts attacking you like a fiend. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Actually, I think I'll use a different partner here. Okay, I don't have enough to do Shell Shield, but... Oh, oh crap! I was supposed—I was try—I I was gonna do tattle there, but I—I ex I messed that up. I accidentally did head bonk, but that's why I messed up the action command. Well, I guess I'll do sweet treat then. Ah, oh wait, oh I thought, 
thought I accidentally got the- I did it a little too early and got the poison mushroom, but I'm fine. There we go. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh my gosh, why am I messing these up so much? I know I'm recording this pretty late, but I forgot you could even mess up Tattle. I like <laughs> Ugh. Actually, do I have... Do I have Mega Rush P on? Oh, probably don't. I... Messed up like a few times on that one. They got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. I'm recording this like pretty late at night, so <laughs> that's why I messed up a few action commands there. That definitely didn't go very smoothly. This is your last warning. Stop snooping around the Crystal Star. If you don't, you'll suffer the same fate that the others who have gone missing. Look oh, goody, this guy again. He really seems to know a whole lot of stuff. He's missing fighters, the Crystal Star. You know, if we find this guy, we'll have all the answers. But who could it be? So let's rest up again. Okay. Oh boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fix it for a fight, huh? Okay, then. Your next opponent will be... Ranked 2 in the Glitz Pit, Chomp Country. Now listen, son. In this battle, I want you to avoid using any items. Empty them pockets. Real men don't need no trinkets to help them out in the hand for a proper whooping, you hear? Now get in there and knock some heads with the old-fashioned way you... Pardon me, Mr. Gonzalez. Another gift arrived from one of your admirers. I'll just leave it here, if that's okay. Do what you do with it with it what you will. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is the, the poisoned cake. I'm just gonna leave it there. For next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, the Red Orb Fear Orbs. Yep, a fight to the finish with Chomp Country. Um, okay, we could do this. Orf, 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 orf! 
Get yourselves ready to battle. Fun fact about Red Chomps, they're actually in Hyrule Warriors, which I think is pretty interesting. Chain Chomps and Paper Mario are always, like, pretty interesting. Because Chain Chomps have actually been a scrap partner three different times, like in 64 Thousand Year Door, as we learned recently with the concept art, and Sticker Star as well. That's a Red Chomp. It's a rabid, red biting, chewing, chomping fool. Max HP is 6, attack is 5, and defense is 3. It attacks some power so powerful that we could be in a world of hurt if we don't beat it fast. Which is why it's really, really annoying that its defense is so high. HP is pretty low though, so items and special moves might just work. Just look at that color. It's something... I think someone painted it after it fell asleep at a party. I like how, um, Goombella is always obsessed with, like, colors. There we go. I missed, like, the very last one there. There we go. Okay, just got, got just enough to level up here. Okay, I think I'll do HP this time. Since I'm not doing, um... BP only. I'm just gonna do HP a little bit. I'm mostly gonna do BP, but every once in a while I'll upgrade um, HP and FP. Okay, so we got b Star. We got ourselves a winner! The Great Gonzalez! See? No biggie. Okay. Mario, you see what happened to our pal here? Everybody went numb, stupid cake, hate cake, never eat cake again. Oh my gosh, the cake must have totally been poisoned. Boy, if we'd eaten it, we that would be us on the floor. Okay. Let's... Forgot to put on some badges, so I guess we'll put on charge P... Oh, and charge. Yeah, I have charge as well. I did have Mega, Mega Rush P in the inventory. Well, it makes sense why I do, but... Let's see. That one's for Mario. I'll mostly have Mario in the back. So I'll just put pretty lucky on. Yeah, I just leveled up. So, but now we're gonna fight the Koopinator next. Well, oh boy, how did Gonzalez fixin' for a fight, huh? Okay, then your next opponent will be ranked one in the Glitz Pit, a Koopinator. Now, listen, son. For this battle, I want you to avoid using any of their special moves. 
This crowd is craving a nice long battle at its simplest and finest. Now get in there and don't go a grandstanding. Okay. This is just one singular enemy, so should it be too difficult here if, we're, if we know what we're doing? For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, the Razor Blade Brigadier. Yep, um, Brigadier. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Coupinator. We aren't going to lose to the likes of you. You. Finally. I get a piece of you. Finally. We'll see who's truly stronger. Get yourselves ready. The battle. Okay, the last regular battle of the chapter. Before the boss fights here. The we'll tattle. It's a dark Koopa Patrol. These guys totally ooze toughness, don't you think? XHP is 25, attack is 5, defense is 2. After it charges up power, its next attack will be devastating. Try to survive it. It's almost like its red eyes are there to warn you how tough it is. Or maybe it just doesn't get much sleep. Okay. Oh, and we have Fog on our side. That's pretty good. And I realize Luigi's in the audience, too. Yep, and the Fog is definitely helping us out here. Okay, let's see. We'll switch out Oops. For, an, for a partner that can take tank more damage. And they missed again. I actually really would have needed it this time. At least I super guarded there. There we go. Got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. We we won? Cool. Okay. I think I'll stock up on items before Rockhawk. Oh. 
Hey, another male Mario? Who is it this time? Remove the great Gonzalez posters in the lobby from X. Uh, okay, it's that X guy again. His message is still freaking me out though, but this one, but this is our only clue. Great Gonzalez posters in the lobby, huh? I'll we'll have to peel them off. Well, let's give it a shot. I know where it is in specific, so at least we'll get to keep up most of the Great Gonzalez posters. I remember, I remember when I first played through Thousand Year Door back in 2020. I thought like when they had to take off the posters, I thought it was like some like thing connected to Rock Hawk where they were like trying to like sabotage you and they were like they like tricked you into doing it or something. Before I knew, it was like the the key hidden behind one of the posters. A point swap, that's pretty good. The only problem is we don't really have like many FP healing items here. Yeah, it's right up here. Here we go. We can keep the rest of them up. I like how they immediately know. Go to the second floor of the storage room from X. Oh, let's save. Be kidding me! Bandy Annie and King K? Look! Gun Gonzalez! This is to be er, man! Don't get near the ring when no one is around! Oh! Come on! Shake it off, honey! What do you mean? Don't get near the ring! King K isn't even responding. Okay. Nope. Gonzalez, you see that? That was Shaolin! This is craziness! What is going on here? Oh yeah, and I th probably heal up. For the whole sequence. Rock Hawk and everything. Okay. Oh, didn't mean, I didn't mean to leave the room there. Let's check the badges. Hmm. Actually, there's a couple that I could 
take off that wouldn't necessarily be that helpful. Like Quick Hammer or Multi Bounce. Soft Stomp, I don't think I really need that as well. Okay. I think I might go for power plus P right now. The Great Gonzalez. Howdy. Fix it for a fight, huh? Well, guess what? Next match is the title match. Hooey. Stein Tootin. You're up against the champ, Rockhawk. Now, I want to see a fair and excited match, so don't you let me down now, you hear? Now listen son, in this battle, there are no conditions. You fight that champ with every trick and technique you got. Now get in there and win yourself a championship. Okay. Oh yeah, and then this part gets pretty interesting. There's actually a new song coming up, too. Hold up, dude! Where are you heading? That's the... That ain't the way to the arena! <laughs> yeah, uh, you go this way, because it's a special match. Hey, hold it, meathead! This doesn't seem right! You two wait in here. Oh, and here's the locker room that we, um, only get to see in this section. Hey, that ain't a, the ring. It's a minor league locker room. It's empty. That guy said, wait, but dude, we're missing our title bout. It stinks. Now for today's May event, the top dog of the Major League, the Great Gonzalez, is finally going to throw down with the champ, the one, the only, Rockhawk. Earth entered the ring, the Great Golden Grandstander, Rockhawk. You go, champ. Rock him. E, you go, champ. Oh, doggies. Champ. How you feeling, son? Challenger's a handful. He don't want a handful of this. They, the, there's only one champ, and it's me. Even if this Gonzalez voice ever shows up, what's, what's she gonna do, huh? Nothing. But the great, Gon great Gonzalez made it to the top of the majors faster than anyone ever. He even got there faster than you did, champ. What you gotta say about that? What do I have to say? What? That's what? Who cares if this guy is a bunch of chumps? Cause he gets rocked. Okay, that's it. Nobody's coming for us, man. Hear me? Let's go kick some tail. Ah! Weak! Some poke locked us in here! We're trapped in here! Oh, here's the new song. Sounds pretty good. And now for a challenger. The Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez. Hold the phone, folks. What the hell is going on here? What happened to the Great Gonzalez? <laughs> I'll show you what happened. Here's the rock. Hooey! What a stupefying development, folks. Did the great Gonzalez turn a yell in a head for the hills like a dog? Tell you what, folks. If he, 
If we don't show up soon, he's going to forfeit the match. And we need to get over there. Man, this is the worst! We're going to forfeit our match if we don't show up! We gotta break out of here, man, right now! Okay, let's... TV room is pretty interesting. And then here's another locker room that we barely see. Then we have Skibbity Mario! Skibba TTYD. I'm sorry. That's a terrible joke. Okay. Guess that request. I request that we never do that again. Oh, we're in the Major League Locker Room. Okay, let's switch to Goombella. The music sounds pretty good here. Moment you've been waiting for, folks. The great Gonzalez entered the arena. Gonzalez, Gonzalez! Looks like we actually made it! And listen to those cheers, Mario! They love you! Come on! Let's go put this oversized rooster in his place, huh? You rock, man! Gonzalez, you're late! You're late! Just listen to the crowd hoot and holler for the challenger, Great Gonzalez! Will his hammer and hurt and harm be enough to rock the rock hawk socks? See, that's five times fast. Now, at long last, the battle to end all battles is here. Let's keep it clean, boys. Get yourselves ready to battle. A second to last battle of the chapter. The Rock Hawks new remix is pretty good, I'd say. Okay, Mario, this is it. A match with the champ. Let's destroy this guy. <laughs> you wimps should have stayed locked up safe and sound. What? What are you saying? Don't tell me it was you who got that security guard to lock us up. You're darn right I did. I also sent that poison cake suckers. That's what happens when you mess with me, baby. You meet the pain train. So you're the jerk who's been sending us those mean emails about the crystal stars. Huh? I have no idea what you're babbling about now. What's a crystal star? No, wait, I don't care. I may p not pl ex play exactly fair, but I got skills, punks. And now you get about to meet them all, baby. Prepare to be rocked. Yeah, I think the new remix sounds pretty good. Some people don't like it, but I actually think it sounds really good. That's Rock Hawk. He flips, flaps, and slaps. That's what the book says. Max HP is 40, attack is 4, and defense is 0. He's really good at aerial maneuvers, but other than that, he's pretty meh. I, I, I kind of agree. <laughs> One thing that you should never know is that the Rockhawk never fights above the board. Perilousness leads to lifelessness, you know? Okay. Let's charge. Let's use a power punch on Mario. Let's see. Now let's power bounce.
Not too shabby. You're better than I thought. This may actually be fun. Don't get your head swelled, though. Because you, you got a ways to go. Check this out. Time to rock. Okay. Do another power balance here. Man, you're kind of annoying. How dare you turn the rock back on the hawk? I should have taken care of you before this battle. I'm getting lazy, I guess. Well, since it's come down to this, I guess I got no choice but to have me use flurry. <laughs> no! I, Rockhawk, the champ, the undefeated master, I lost to such losers! Okay, there we go, we took down Rockhawk. Pretty easy. Oops, I have my eyes popped out of my head. We got ourselves a miracle. Technique versus technique. Raw power versus raw power. A clash of superhumans. Folks, this was truly, honestly, without question, no doubt, absolutely, the most legendary, amazing, and probable history-making bout of all time. And the victor in this match for the ages. The Great Gonzales! Congratulations, Gonzales. You're the champion, son. Hey, okay, we got the champ spelt. Give him a hand, folks. The new Glitz Pit champ. The Great Gonzales! Great Gonzales, Great Gonzales. But now you finally did it, son. Today's your first day as a new champ. Jolene, hand him a fight money. Here's your fight money of 100 coins, Mr. Gonzalez. Tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and get you set up in the champ's room right away. Miss Jolene, be a peach and show Gonzalez to the champ's room, okay? Absolutely, sir. Well then, Mr. Champion, would you like to follow me, please? Ace, hey, so we got champion room here. Congratulations again, Mr. Champion. From now on, this is where you'll stay. It's your room. So make yourself at home. You'll use this terminal, as you always have, of course. Will there any be anything else? Well then, have a nice day, Mr. Champion. How are you, darling? We've finally done it. We beat that lout, but... I dare say that chicken truly had no clue about the Crystal Star. We're still in dire straits as far as the real one goes. Wherever could it be? Oh my, Mario darling. I believe I heard a voice coming from somewhere. Might it be? Ghost? I almost swoon. That's mailbox FP is gonna be the death of me. Discover the true nature of the ghost from X. So, if that's to be believed, there's really a ghost. 
That's rather unsettling. Okay. So let's... Yeah, let's rest real quick here. Looking at this closely, this looks like an orc... Oh. Like the poster there. I think it looks pretty cool. It looks like... I'm trying to, like, jump up on the bed here. Yeah, that kind of... That picture kind of looks like a Origami King render. Or like an Origami King sprite. Because it's, like, flat colors. I wonder if it is. It doesn't have the... Well, I mean, it does. it has, like, a glow around it. But it's, like... Not, like, fully a white outline. Okay, I have a repel cape and a power, like, power punch. I should be okay. Go. We're in the air duct, right? Where does it lead? Okay, well, that's in perfect condition as usual. Yep, as long as I got that baby working for me, this old bot ain't never gonna be weak. But I'm gonna have to watch my tootsies around here for a little bit. First, I let that King Cage walk on in on me with that. Now, I can't shake that feeling that Jolene and Gonzalez are onto me. Well, I guess I'll burn that bridge when I, the time comes. I'll just disappear him. Yep, just like I did to the others. Like I did the Prince Mush, the first champ. Our voice! It's Krummer! So he's behind these missing fighters! Better lock this room up tighter than a peanut butter jar and a squirrel convention. And I'll go ahead and hide that paper related into the desk drawer. There we go. You know what though, since I'm thinking aloud here, good fighters ain't nothing mess with. Even Rockhawk lost to Gonzalez. This new champ might have to disappear pretty soon. For my sake. Okay. It's funny how he's just like saying that all out loud. Like conveniently so Mario can hear. He even acknowledges it, but it's kind of funny. Like, I mean even though he, he knows, he doesn't know that anyone's around, it's still just kind of funny. Wow, bingo! Bet that's the old paper grubber hat. Let's check it out, Gonzalez. Pretty concerning stuff there. No! A machine under the ring using the crystal star? These are the blueprints! I don't know what the rest of this nerd talk says, but I think the crystal star powers it. This paper's right. The machine can suck the power out of people. Yuck! Oh crud! You think the kid and K and Banny Andy got all drained or something? Great galloping culpits! How, how in the darn nation you got in here, son? Well, I'm gonna slap him in and call me Sassafras. You're staring at my secret paper, too! Shut up! You make me sick! Why are you drinking Kate Benny Andy, huh? Whoa, Nelly, this ain't good. Okay, he's on the run for it. After him, Gonzalez! got another star piece here actually let me see yeah I think the setup looks pretty good here we'll save okay now we're gonna face up against Matru Grubba here Gotta say, y'all are a couple of slapjack idiots snuffing around my business. Now, you gotta know my big secret. I'm afraid you're gonna have to take some little old dirt nap. Finally, he's showing his true colors. You know, the interesting thing about Grubba is that he's like the only, like, antagonist in the game to actually make use of the crystal stars 
It's all up there. That's the crystal star, right? Gut, 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 gut. How do you like my machine? Pretty thing, nice, huh? Yep, I've been sucking up the power from fighters with this baby. Slurp. Darn tootin'. And you know why? Because it keeps showing my bod forever young, son. You're such a scumbag! You're gonna pay for using a crystal star like that! Oh, you shut your traps now. I'll use my crystal star however I think, please. Check this out. Muscle up! Yeah, I think, like, it's pretty cool that they're actually, like, showcasing, like, the power of the Crystal Stars. It would be cool if, like, the other bosses did it in some way, but, like, I guess that kind of does make Macho Grubba unique. Macho Grubba! Yo, Grubba was beefed up! Oh, wait. I'm gonna smoke you guys into guacamole and snack on your energy, too. Oh yeah, the new remix of the Macho Grubba theme sounds pretty good as well. Macho! I'm a powerhouse now, you pestering little pieces of prairie priffle. So long as I've had my machine, I'll bound it up be rough, tough, and ultra buff. My truck, Gonzalez! I'm ready to chew this dude up and spin him out! Okay. Okay, let's tattle first. And then we'll start the um power up um baby Yoshi here. That's Macho Grubba! He's Grubba all souped up on Crystal Star Power. Match HP is 60, attack is 4, defense is 0. His attack pattern is simple. First, increase the number of times he can attack. Then he powers himself up with all sorts of wild, power-uppy moves. So it's pretty important to pay close attention to how he powers himself up. The wildest thing about this muscle head is that he's just regular old Grubba a moment ago. I guess the Crystal Stars really are powerful. Okay, so let's... Actually, won't we won't switch out for Yoshi yet. We just need to get down to... One, um, one f FP here. Okay. We'll start to charge. Coops out. It missed since I've the repel cape. We'll swap with Flurry here. Actually, no. I could just... Yeah, I could have Yoshi out again.
I'll swap again. We just have to use charge a couple more times here. Let's see. Okay, I'll just charge Mario up. Just so we, we get the, like, 1 HP here. Or 1 HP, yeah. 1 HP to do the point swap. Point swap here, which is honestly one of the best items in the game. Because we can get, like, free peril with this. And... I'll just defend here. Okay, good. Um, I said good because he didn't power up defense. So. Okay. I probably shouldn't have had poops out. There we go, now we can use Yoshi. <laughs> that is so satisfying, just taking them out in that way. Like the give, um... Rubba, a taste of his own medicine. Oh, how did this happen? How did you lose a perfect body like mine? Lose such a schlub. Oh, great. Gonzalez, great fight there, son. Great fight. Urgh. Mr. Champion. No, I mean, Mario. Please, allow me to offer my earnest thanks for defeating that foul Grubba. Jolene! I really have to apologize. I'm so sorry that I had to get you involved. But you must understand, I had to learn the truth about this arena by my any means. Let me tell you everything. I had a little brother once, by the name of Mush. He had done every anything for me. Our family was always poor, so he became a fighter to support all of us. But he suddenly went missing one day. Our family was... Inconsolable. I suspected foul play, so I got hired as the manager and investigated in secret. As I looked for clues about my brother, 
I accidentally saw Mr. Grubbuck transform. Seeing what I was up against, I almost gave up hope. But then you appear. I decided to secretly guide you. Ha! Huh. So you... So our ex-buddy was... Correct. It was me. Once I saw you fight, I knew you were the only one who could challenge Grubba. Now, sir. No, not sir. Grubba. I want answers right now. What did you do with my precious little brother? You know what exactly I'm talking about. The first champion, Prince Mush. Er, Prince Mush, he... You discovered the secret of my power sucking machine. I had him er, disappear. Any which way you look at it, er, he's a, he ain't around these parts no more. No, I I suspected as much. Oh, poor sweet mush. Boy, I thought he was being mean, but it turns out he was just worried for her little brother. Wow, check it out, Gonzalez! The Crystal Star! I really like the remix of this song. It makes it feel like even more like emotional and impactful. This looks just so cinematic. Like with um Prince Mush coming back to life here. Is this my back in the glitz pit? Mush. Oh, is that really you, sis? What are you doing here? I I was just There, there, Mush. It's okay. It's it's all over, finally. Is that what the crystal stars can do? Now Mario, the crystal star is yours. Hey. Wow, are you sure it's okay if we just take it? It's be better that you have it, so nothing like this will ever happen again. It's all you, Gonzalez! Nab it, dude! Oh, yeah. Okay. So the end of Chapter 3. Got a crystal star. Got star power. I will still miss end of chapter. Blitzville's seamy underside was a dark, dangerous place, seething with conspiracy. With the help of the lovely Miss Jolene, Mario revealed Grubba's true identity, and acquired the third crystal star by defeating the monstrous Macho Grubba. Grubba had used the power of the crystal star to run his dark, power-draining machine. What other hidden powers might these strange and mysterious I mis mystical items possess? Okay, so anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and make sure to check out my Discord server if you want to. Goodbye!